While it's important to train the parents about how to interact with their children, it's also important that you are educating and training professional service providers. Why is that so? That's the second part of what we do, is we reach out to professionals in the community that have a natural connection with these children in the sense of, for instance, educators and learning how to recognize and how to interact with somebody in the classroom who has reactive attachment disorder and how to distinguish that from many of the other things that show up in children across the spectrum of um, the people they educate. So we work with educators providing presentations, workshops, and practice for them to become competent in their interactions with our children with RAD. We also, as a group of therapists, go out to um, individual education plans, IEPs, that the schools have um, for the children that need special services. And certainly our children with reactive attachment disorder qualify for those services. And so we have a chance to educate the educators in that setting as well, in a very real in vivo setting. And what about therapists? Why do they need to know about RAD? What we found is that therapists know very little about RAD in general. And I would start with myself and say I've been a therapist for over 30 years now. And for the first 20 years, if you had asked me if I had treated or seen any children with reactive attachment disorder, I would have said no. And I would have been wrong, but I would have said no because I was so unaware of what it looked like and what it meant and um, the signs that would manifest in children. Um, now, if um, So now what we want to do is make sure that other therapists who are perhaps equally unaware or maybe a little bit more aware than we were back then get the kind of training uh, not only that they need, but in most cases they really want. We see that therapists want to be effective I think people have heard more about reactive attachment disorder in the last 10 years, even in the last five years. So there's a willingness to learn more. Um, traditionally, people heard that reactive attachment disorder was very rare and very difficult to treat. So that combination, most therapists understandably thought they didn't have to treat it and didn't want to treat it. And now what's happening is a lot of therapists are very happy to take on a challenge and very happy to learn from people that are a bit further down the road in their understanding, as I believe we are at Radical Healing. Our long-term goal with Radical Healing is to create the kind of community that's necessary to raise a child with reactive attachment disorder, with developmental trauma, and all the pain that these children bring into the homes uh, that are committed to loving these children to wellness. We think it takes about three villages to raise these children. And what we're trying to do really is to create a community of people that are well-equipped, really therapeutic parents for educators who really know how to work with uh, the children and their families, and for the therapeutic community, social workers, therapists, psychiatrists, medical people, and nurses, the whole community of caregivers um, that are involved in this child's life, that these parents will have a place of respite where they can have a break from the relentless um, challenges that they're faced with. Um, and there are people trained to be able to come in and work with their children while they have a couple of hours just to go and be or just to remember who they are or even an overnight. So our long-term plans are to create facilities that will make some of this possible. And we will continue to work together as a village to raise these children uh, because they belong to all of us in that sense.